All right. It is, I believe, the 23rd of June. We got our swing arm like seven days earlier than it was supposed to be here. Yay! Little issue when somewhere, whether it was at Cruise Master or whether it was at Patriot Campers, I don't think it was in transit. The swing arm got dropped and one of the shock mount screw in points got galled up. So we had to tap that out. And believe it or not, a tap handle in uh, Canada cost you $145. So keep one of those in your truck. And the tap, $45. Not cheap up here. So carry tools with you. I know it gets heavy, but it is what it is. Um, so we tapped out that screw hole and um, we're getting ready to pull out the old swing arm. Now, I've never done this before, but it looks pretty simple. So you can come along on the ride. Show you what we're doing here. My lovely assistant cohort and crime navigator extraordinaire and we had the trailer sitting up on this big rock and um, so we could get level and still camp in the trailer we got a high lift jack on it and as everybody knows you don't get under a vehicle under a high lift alone so we got these old stumps from the campground and we're propping the trailer up on the stumps but also having the high lift as a backup and uh, now we're going to remove the x cruise passenger side swing out and uh, put in the new one let me tell you with the uh, wheel with the hub on there it is heavy so we're going to use the bottle jack to help us support that once we get it up in place I don't know that we need it right there right now, but... Well, I needed to push it up so I could get the rock out. Oh, good enough. Yeah. And so, uh, the uh, campground sells wood, and they sell them in these really nice bags. They're, they're sandbags where they're, we live. Yeah, they're sandbags where we live, but uh, they're going to work really nice as tarps, to because the ground's still pretty wet. We had quite a torrential downpour uh, two nights ago, or the other night, um, and it, the ground was pretty pretty wet. Uh, so this will help keep us from getting completely soaked. So just a little use and then they recycle them. So we'll bring them down and they'll put more wood in them and sell them to somebody. Yeah, so some of the tools that you're probably going to need. I have this Blue Ridge Overland uh, tool case and I use that for just my sockets, ratchets and all that stuff. And I had to go out and buy this inch and one sixteenth uh, spanner, the socket, and then I had the longer uh, ratchet to use as a ratchet slash uh, breaker bar. I bought that at Reeves in Auburn, and it's been one of the best ratchets I, I could I've been able to get. It's a uh, the brand is Titan, and it works awesome when you need a breaker bar. Because it's not so big that you it gets in the way, but it gives you enough leverage to usually break bolts loose. So, a uh, dead blow hammer, and uh, hey, I'm going to use that longer uh, extension, 3 8 extension there, if I need to drift the main swing arm pin out. So yeah, that's what we're doing now, and uh, we will... Uh, get underneath it, do some observations, and uh, take it out. So what it looks like initially is there's a main swing out pin there, there's two bolts on the shocks, and one bolt on the uh, underneath the, uh, the airbag. And um, it should come out no problem so yeah that's where we're at now I'm gonna get underneath I'm gonna check some things out and then we'll come back to you all right bye there we go all right so 
right now we've re we've removed the two shock uh, mount bolts now we're going to work on the uh, bolt that holds the uh, airbag to the swing out I'm going to place it and Deb's I think going to at a better angle yeah probably have a better angle I'm just going to make sure if I'm even on the bolt, there's the bolt. I can actually see it. Can you? Yeah. Good. Is that on, is that fitting the bolt correctly? No, it is not. Bigger or smaller? Bigger. What size is that? That is a 14 millimeter. The next one should be. Yep. Yeah, on That's some it. on something like this, you want to make sure and have some type of Caribbean. We're using logs here and here, and then here and here, and then we still have the high lift under it. Never, ever, ever trust just a high lift or just a jack of any kind. Always have Caribbean of some kind or jack stands. And we're using this specifically because in the woods, you know, you should be able to find something like this. Now, these are pre-cut stumps for, uh, uh, what the, for the campground. They're what the campground uses for uh, chopping their wood. Yeah. But, you know, if you have an axe, which you should, or you have a chainsaw, you can make something like this in the, out in the field. But you never want to be under your rig or your uh, your trailer without some kind of cribbing. You know, if you if you have the space to carry jack stands, I would definitely um, think you should have it. Can you do me a favor, babe? Yep. What do you need? The uh, the black bag rollout bag. The step 22 bag, which is a good bag. Um, ha pull out the, uh, don't need the whole bag, just the uh, the wrenches. So now <clears throat> what's left is the pivot point with, the, uh, with your alignment tabs. Um, what I'm going to do is... mark this somehow do you have that file yep i want to mark i also have a paint pen there we go so that's i also have a paint pen oh paint paint pen should work <clears throat> you want to keep your tools where you can find them because they uh, they're gonna be what saves your butt. And for a job like this, having two sets of hands is definitely um, a plus. Now you can't see it, but the cam, the the alignment cams are right here. And if you watch the cruise master video, which I probably should have paid more attention, my wife did. Um, she says it's super simple. So we're gonna mark this right, right where the edge of the cam is, so we know. You know we have a good starting location we got some straight edges yeah this is not giving me any ink i just gotta push down on it babe and have the oh okay down. i'm gonna clean this off um 
you know, it's not a absolute safety or prerequisite. Try and keep it down. But, you know, if you can, these little Milwaukee gloves are awesome because they keep your hands semi-clean. And you don't get... No, yours are in the trailer. Yeah, this ain't working, babe. Just bring me that file. I'll just put a little file mark. So, on this pivot pin, there's an inch and sixteenths bolt here with the cam behind it. And it slides in from the outside and then the this side the outside portion of it's captured with a 16 mil um with a 16 millimeter hopefully that it's yeah there's a little all i'm doing here is marking the frame where it um where the tamp cam tab is generally at. Can I have a 16 millimeter, one of the, yeah, open end wrench. I'm gonna hold that and you're gonna turn this, please. Oh, wow. No, oh, give me a 17. It's 16 on this side, but 17 on the inside. So the inside nylock is a 17, I'm pretty sure. And the, yep, go ahead. And the outside is a 16, if you want to use that. I think it's too good to tighten. Do I? Yeah. Lefty Lucy. There you go. You had it sit the wrong way, babe. Sorry, my love. That's okay. You're working upside down and backwards, so. All right, so I should be able to get that off. Just hold it. And I've got a bowl right here. Yeah, you want to have something to retain all your so hardware. All the pieces, parts. Um, you know, we were going to have a shop do this at one point. Well, that's because we thought we were going to have the tow truck could only tow us to a shop. So we'd be kind of stuck, but... You want to take... A, we, this wonderful campground. Shoot me your camera and I'll, your phone and I'll take a picture of this before I start cranking this on This wonderful campground allowed us to yeah stay here and they don't even have a problem with us wrenching in the campground which i don't know of too many places in the states that would allow that oh wow all right see if that looks okay Yep. This is the, the ratchet I was telling you about. I don't know how tight this bolt is. Because I haven't checked it in a while. But this thing right here is awesome. I got it at Rebe's. The brand is Titan. to get a this socket finding stuff in in Canada Canada oh sorry Canada is is it we are spoiled in the United States I'm going to tell you that right now 
the uh you can we can get stuff so freely and easily in the US. Hey babe, hold what? on. Put this back where it was. Oh yeah, and put a screwdriver in it. Exactly. Hold on. Alright, go ahead. Swing it back around. That's gonna to be too yeah, big. And I didn't bring any screwdrivers over like oh. a dummy. So, like I said, there's about five bolts in this. One underneath the airbag, two here, that's three, four, and then five. There you go. So there's a cam, there's a there's a like an oval on this side with a hole that bolts into the frame that locks all this in place so you can adjust your uh, your alignment um, she just shoved a screwdriver through it so it wouldn't turn and I'm using this big impact socket I don't like sticking an impact gun we have one on you know some people use impact guns for everything I don't like it because you know, you don't know what shape this stuff is in. If you can't get it to break loose with something like this, then I'll, by all means, use an impact gun. Um, I think people, you know, in our age of technology, people are really, you know, oh, I got to use an impact gun. No, you don't. Hold on. Nope. I'm, I'm just hand taking it off now. And with these gloves, you get some grip that you wouldn't get with just your bare hand. Now I'm hoping that this pivot will just slide right out without having to fight it. Otherwise, I'm going to have to use something as a drift and drift this thing out. There shouldn't be any real pressure on this plastic dead blow hammer oh look at that I wasn't thinking it was gonna do that so where we're at now this thing should drop freely out um, in the back on top of the welder box uh -huh is a uh, pry bar. How about... No. Just to, to get these off. Yeah. How about if you get out from underneath there so it doesn't drop on you. Oh, I got my hand on it. Yeah. Um, and because of some of the issues we've had... You know, Patriot Campers has been awesome, but the problem is, is they're in Australia, so we're waiting. So that that pivot pen, these bushings, I'll clean them up and save them. Any hardware I, I take off this old arm is getting saved. On, or you could probably do this. Hold on. Get some stuff moved out of the way. Yep. Let's see if there's anything else that needs to... I don't think anything. No, I don't think so. Either. I think we, we got everything. We just need to detach this shock, bottom of the shock, off of that... Uh, yeah. You know, I think if you just... Take the jack off. Yeah. Or out of underneath. And then we're just going to have to wiggle it. I could probably dead blow it off. Exactly. If you, 
if you hold this, I'm going to dead blow it here. Come under there, please. Just slide out. Thank you. Oh, head rush. Now, That's getting old. That's what that is. Now, let me go over here to this other side. I'm going to go to the other side. Try this. I'll try this first. I'm just at a funky angle. Yeah. So right now we're caught up on the shock mount. That's the... I don't want to have to take the shock mount. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's, I think it's moving. Let's do a small pry, short and long. A long, even pry. Well, this, this pry bar is not. But. Instead of just jerking, get it in here. Oh, these things are on there good. It's moving. Oh. The, why did this not detach from the... I don't know, baby. Watch your fingers. It's probably. Probably supposed to do this part first. Turn it, tilt it towards you, this part up. It's not tilted. Why is this not coming out? It just might not be coming down far enough because the shocks are still no. on there. Tilt it this way. Okay. Keep going. That bolt almost looks like it's... Uh, Because that post, there's a post in here. Yeah, get these off first, and then there's nothing else for me to know. I wonder if we were supposed to take that all off first. The what? This off all first before taking this off. Oh, fuck, come on. Where are the shock bolts on the, up here? Are they on the outside? No. Oh, no, they're way up there. I'm not, I'm not yelling. Sneaking suspicion that if I do this, yeah, there we go. There. That's out. Okay. Excellent. Let me go see if I have a bigger fried bar. Okay. Alright, we're going to come back to you. Alright. So, we got that out. Started out with a smaller pry bar. And then I got this big one out. Um, these are just Harbor Freight jobs and they worked awesome so now the swing arm is out i know the video quality is not the greatest had to pry the airbag up to get the the mounting bolt up out of the post and i'll show you what i'm talking about in a second eh, not 
so much pry as gently lift and encourage. We were told that getting that pivot bolt out was going to be the hardest part. Not the case. That was the. That was super simple. Super easy. So let me get out of here and then I'll show you the rest. So here's where we're at. This is the old swing arm. You want to pull that out, babe? That's where... Uh... So here's where it, it broke. And unlike a lot of other swing arms out there with on independent suspension systems that have a bolt-off stub axle, not the case with these uh, Cruise Master ones. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to pull at a later time. We're going to pull out those uh, bushings and keep them. Just in case. And then this is where we're at. We'll clean all this stuff up before we put the new one in. And hopefully it's going to go in easier than it came out. We'll grease those shock uh, posts up. Like I said, um, we started off with... This small Harbor Freight uh, pry bar, and luckily I carry two different size pry bars. Because if I wouldn't have, I don't know if we'd have got that shock mount loose. Leverage is a glorious thing. Yeah, leverage is awesome. So wait, I got some brake uh, cleaner, babe. All we'll right. spray it on there. And then here's the new one. And this is what we were catching up on with the airbag. That's why I couldn't get the airbag to, to break free. But I figured it out. Brake cleaner. Use that to clean all the areas off so when we put the new setup in, there's no worries. Babe. So, uh, Mike was saying we... Uh... We had to tap that one uh, shock mount. I don't know what you're saying to me. Is it still flashing? Yes, it's okay. still flashing. Been good. Are you going to cut that part out now? No, go. Yes, you are. <laughs> anyway, Mike's in the background going, I'm like, what are you trying to tell me? He's well, this to back screen keeps going back, off. Back screen on the, on the camera keeps turning off. And he's like, is it still recording? Uh, but anyway... He was saying we had to tap that shock mount. Um, we were getting ready to do that, and as often happens in the overlanding world, this gentleman that we had talked to the night before, um, who is a millwright uh, and has been for a very long time, um, he comes by. We we're getting ready to do it, and, and he's like, uh, "You know, I've I've done that a, a million times. I've got the feel for it. Would would you like some help?" So absolutely. So this wonderful gentleman sat down and was able to finesse re-tapping that uh, that mount. So you know, there's they're always the universe provides. Yeah, um, I mean, super awesome. You know, in our lines of work, you would find. You know, a lot of times you think. Don't you get, breathe this, by the way. Yeah, don't breathe brake cleaner. Um, you can easily get uh, cynical. cynical, you know, prior law enforcement, prior fire, and you deal with the not the better side of society. And what we found in this trip is it it's, it gives you hope because everybody we've met has offered to help in any way they can. You know, we're in Hope Canada, right? Yeah, we're in Hope Canada. Go figure. Um, but everyone has said, is there anything I can do for you? I mean, I've had like five guys come and offer to crawl under the trailer with me. Yeah, I mean, I've had so m many people offer. You know, the guy, uh, Jack, who owns Beaver Trailers in uh, Calgary. He's like, hey, is there anything I can do for you? You know, he was... He he, if there was any parts that he had in his inventory that would work yeah i mean awesome so if you get a chance to come up to canada british columbia 
it's expensive but the people are wonderful so uh anyways we're gonna cut it off and we're gonna work this stuff out and basically what deb's doing right now and a lot of you know what she's doing but there's a lot of you that don't and what she's doing is cleaning off all the old grease and grime before we put the new setup in and then we'll put the new arm in and it will be uh hopefully good as new and um We'll come back when we got it in. The putting it in's, you know, pretty much the same process. It, we're gonna probably have to fight with getting those shock mounts back on. I think we'll put those on first, and because uh, we're gonna be fighting with. Uh, hold on. We'll see. We're gonna be fighting with that wheel hub that is is super heavy. I mean, if you look at the backing plate on this, it, back in the U.S., these things are super thin metal. This is like, I don't know, it almost, it's, it's thick and it's heavy. So, you know, the swing arm itself is only like 50 pounds. With that on there, I think it goes up another 50 pounds. So, but that has, you know, the whole braking system in it, electric braking system, and then that cast iron wheel hub. So, after we get that in, I'll pull these bushings, clean them up, throw them in a plastic bag for the future, just in case. Um, nothing beats having spare parts and tools. I mean, I think my... Sorry. I think my truck is is as heavy as it is because of all the tools I carry. And then I still had to go buy a couple of things at Lord Co. in Hope, British Columbia. Those people were phenomenal. They got a good selection. Um, if you're looking for metric stuff though, the, the highest it goes up to is 24 millimeter. And I needed something bigger than that. Buddy hooked me up with a, a one and 16 cents uh, impact socket work perfect we're good so that's that and we'll come back to you when it's finished and you'll see the finished product and again we're doing it we're doing this in the field we did our whole electrical system in the field we're doing uh, a whole swing out change in the field you don't have to pay people to do this stuff sit down look at it if you have to go to a, a, a YouTube video if you have service to see what you have to do. Um, yeah, I mean, phone friends if, if you can, but you if you really look at this stuff, this is basically bolt on and you can do it. I can tell you because I am not a mechanic. I turn wrenches. All right, fellas and ladies, have a wonderful day. Well, we're done. Took us a little longer than expected. I think when we do the other side, it'll take way less time. And we're only going to do the other side as just in case. But here you go. You remember what it looked like before. Boom. She's back to fighting weight. Um, actually, fairly easy to change. Um, me and my wife did it. It, you know, we kind of took a, lo a longer break longer ish break after we got the old one out and then we uh got on it get putting it in was a lot less hassle than i thought even with the weight of it having the drum and everything on it uh, went in nicely we're good to go we're gonna get back on the road hopefully tomorrow all right Well, here we go. So, so happy. Our girl trailer is back on two wheels. Is that sexy or what? Yes, it is. And our girl is hooked up to the truck. Wonderful. 
So, yes, we're on the road again. Can't wait to get on that road again. I am so happy. Can you tell? So happy. We've been here for almost 10 days. Hope, British Columbia, thank you for your uh, being so nice, but we are ready to go. And hopefully within the next four days, we'll be on our way back north to the Yukon Territory and Alaska. We're probably not going to make it to Tuck this year, but that's another adventure. All right. See if Deb has anything, any words of wisdom. Yeah, everything's loose. Everything's loose because we just hooked the trailer up and I had to loosen this to hook the trailer up. But uh, words of wisdom. Sometimes crap happens. Take a deep breath and find a way to deal with it and move forward. Always be moving forward. It all will work out in the end. Yes. Yes.